Hello crypto party people! I'm Fink and this is my NFT show. Today's going to be a little bit different of an episode. I do not have an interview lined up, though I do have many good ones in the lines already uh, from all different corners of this NFT community. I have a female artist, which I'm super stoked about. I have uh, somebody that I think of as a pretty big name. Uh, I'm not going to mention any names right now because until I do the interviews, you just never know. Uh, Yes, but if I do approach you for an interview, please know that I'm not trying to push the camera on you. Although I do believe that if you have that superpower of not caring if you look like a jackass on camera, it makes you much more personable and people like that. So I think it's a good idea if you're willing to do it. But if you're not, I totally get that. And I am willing to work with you in any way I can to still make an interview happen. I have one person that I... Uh, sent out the questions to and they are sending me the answers back and I'm going to pretty much just read the interview as we go over their work. I have somebody that's going to talk to me and not show face and I'm just going to play the audio over while I go through their work. So please know that I am willing to work with you in any way you can. I don't want to make anybody uncomfortable doing this. I'm trying to do this for fun not to you know bring bad vibes into this awesome community. And that's what I want to talk about right now is the beauty of this NFT community. It really is. It's, you're going to hear me say it 50 times. It's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful thing. It's truly incredible. I'm from a small town, and in this small town, me even just mentioning crypto, I get crazy looks. If I mention NFTs, I get the crazy look plus a what the F you talking about, dude. So... Then I came in, I was already doing uh, paintings before I even knew what an NFT was and starting to feel like I was a little bit crazy and I came into this NFT community and caught nothing but love and support and positive vibes from every which direction and it's, just, it's done so much for me. Uh, it's boosted my confidence as an artist and a person and this is kind of my way of just thanking everybody and doing what I can because I know that I personally don't care if I look like a jackass on camera as long as I can get somebody else exposure and make somebody else's day because you all have made mine time and time again then to me it's worth it but again I don't want to make anybody do anything that they're uncomfortable with but back to the beauty of this space I think it's incredible and I know here in America, every four years around election time, they love to try and push a race war on us and turn us all against each other. And I think that this community proves that that is just all 100% a bunch of bullshit. We get along so amazingly. We show each other so much positivity in this community. And for the most part, we know each other by the cartoon character that we have as our avatar. We know nothing about each other. We know not where we're from, what we look like, uh, yet we get along so freaking well and that's amazing and I think that we're an evolved people. I think that you can show your face in this community and still not receive any hate. Now there are exceptions like, uh, you know, if you try and claim that you're a female for a while and get brought out as a guy, yeah, but then you're just lying too so you kind of had it coming, but nonetheless. It's a beautiful place. This community is awesome. Uh, I understand not wanting to show your face. I understand not wanting the stigma that comes with it. But I also think that if you're willing to, it makes you more personable. And I don't think it's going to change anybody's view of you in this community. I really don't. I think that whether we know what we look like and where we're from, I think we're all still going to get along and be great friends. So, today. Uh, I don't have an interview, as I said, I do have some good ones down the lines, but uh, I wanted to put some content out. I want to use my Adobe Premiere more, learn it a little bit better, as I just got it last weekend, so I'm just learning as I go here. As I said in the last interview, as yeah, in the last video, please bear with me. Uh, D50, one of the best dudes I've ever talked to. The guy is incredible. He's so polite. Uh, his community on Discord is amazing. He does so much for his collectors that he doesn't have to do. He's an awesome guy. And I approached him today and just said what I just said to you. Look, man, I'm trying to come up with some content. 
me and him are trying to put together an interview. We actually ran into a language barrier, another thing I keep on running into. But I'm working working around that too. I'm trying to find uh, good analysis software that can give me uh, subtitles. And uh, me and him are actually working on getting a translator so that hopefully I can bring you an interview with the man himself here soon. But till then, I was kind of like, so I'd like to do this. I'd like to showcase you because of all that he's done for me. He's just been there. He's been a great guy. He's a friend, he does, as like I said, I'm a collector of his. I own four Dunjuka. Five now, five now. I actually want to give away, y'all. You have no idea, I was pissing my pants a little bit. This guy never wins a freaking thing and I won a Dunjuka G series. Woo, woo! But anyhow, uh, yeah, D50 blah blah, great guy. And so I approached him, asked him, hey man, is it all right if I would do just like an overview of your content? And that's what I'm going to do in all the videos. I was like, but with you, I'd like to do a little bit more because you're just so special to your collectors and all that. But I'd like to show that people to people. So we're going to uh, do a little bit of an overview of his work. And then we're actually going to go into his Discord. And I'm going to show you a little bit of his community and the stuff that he does for his uh, collectors and community in there. So... Sit back and hope you enjoy my little NFT show today. All right, so now we're going to take a little scroll through Mr. D50's work, the Dunjuka. Yeah, click here, read this to you. Dunjuka is onion. In Wanplek D's world, Dunjuka are monsters that resemble onions in appearance. Sometimes they are thought that onion is their friend. They live in a group and variety of lifestyle, with some being fascinated by human lifestyles. And you can see the uh, rarity levels there. And some stuff here that you get as a collector, which I will go over whenever we check out the Discord. Now let's get to checking out this freaking amazing art. I have it set up so we can look at it from pretty much the uh, the beginning of the series to the end. You can see the first one's just a little Nicky Dunjuga sitting there, waving his little cute arms around. These The artwork's impressive. It's uh, a cute but just creepy at the same time i love the concept uh as you can see after that they start picking up their human traits as you go up uh whenever you drop these they drop like two to eight or so at a time and usually uh each drop would have their own theme like you can see there's a horror movie theme here for a few of them I really like that hannibal lecter mask and as we go up here i see a dumb gangster right here that's just cool shit and I'm going up here this blue guy that disappears I think he's really neat watch him boof crazy so then we got some Dunjuka is vegetables there's a Zelda looking dude and here's some more monster looking creatures then there's the first of the G series which is again what uh, his series that he made especially for his collectors and uh, held giveaways in his discord for us to try and win one which I did and just makes me so freaking happy that I did. Here's some Dunjuka is Pirates and then this right here is around the time I started seeing the Dunjuka it was around the I remember seeing these uh, Game Boy ones pretty neat. There's another G series going up there's the first one I owned that blue guy right there. Another G series. He gave those out like as uh, as more of the series was collected. This red guy right here. Look at this. Uh, I'm gonna click on one of these after the scroll and just show you a couple of things. But just we'll come back to that guy. That guy or the blue guy that disappears. One or the other. Coming up. There's me on the weekend. My PJs and my pizza. Here is two of my favorites. I own them, and I am so happy I caught them. I told the man, I was like, yeah, I think you set this up as a trap. And I said it was not too horribly long after I started collecting these, and I have a Joker as my avatar on Discord, and all of a sudden I see this drop with the joke, Dun Joker and Harley on it, and I am so glad I caught it right whenever it dropped because I was right on that shit, bought them, and am so happy to have them. They are just freaking cool as shit and we're gonna scroll up right there and a shout out to whoever bought that guy there's the dung batman which i wish that i owned but 
somebody else was quicker, and that's awesome. I'm not one to hate. I'm one to congratulate. So whoever got that guy, you got an awesome piece of art. Congratulations. And as we go up, here we see some uh, Dunjuka is Thai Ghost. Different creepy ones. I like this guy here, summoning some portals out of the ground there. This fire dude is awesome. There's my G-Series, as you can see. They glow and light up and are just cool as crap looking. And there we go. We're to the top. Uh, I said we're on, what, 87. So there's 13 left of the uh, Generation 1 of Dunjuka. And out of these, yeah, I think they've all been bought, actually. So keep your eye out. Nope, there's one left. But there will be another drop or two or three. I'm not sure how many it'll take for them to put out the rest, but they'll be coming soon. Keep an eye out. Get them while you can. It's amazing art. This guy is just so talented. It's incredible. And to prove that, I'm going to scroll down here and we're going to take a closer look. Red guy or blue guy? Red guy or blue guy? We'll do that blue guy. I just think he's too cool. Check this dude out. Just awes me. It really does. I don't know how much time he puts into each and every one of these, but it has to be a lot. The animation's smooth, and they're just creepy but cool as crap looking dudes. Look at the, the shading, shadowing, the detail around him in this uh, fog behind him. It's just incredible. This man is just so talented. It just knocks me off my feet. I really love this collection, and you should too. You should definitely check this stuff out. And now let's hop on over to his Discord and show you some of the stuff that he does for his community. Okay, so we're going to do a quick little uh, tour of the Discord for Wamplek D, the world of the Dunjuka monsters. I'm not going to hit up all these, but we are going to show you just some of the stuff that he does for his collectors. So, exclusive for collectors. There's an adoption ceremony, which I'll show you. There's Monster Snap, which I'll show you. The random drop, Dunjuka G series, which was a giveaway series. There was five of them that he held giveaways for on his Discord for his collectors to try and win. And that's, I actually got one. I mentioned earlier, and I am totally stoked about that. I don't win much, so totally think it's awesome that I got one of the five Dunjuka G series. Something I'm pretty proud of. Random drop, one Plek D. Oh, one. Now this is the original little onion that he made and you can see he's kind of on a little stage there in the Wanplek D world and that's going to be something not sure if it's going to be uh, something that the collectors can purchase or bid on or give away or what but something more he's doing for his collectors there. Then, random drop five Dunjuka eggs. That is going to be awesome. I'm totally psyched about that. He's going to have them. There's also going to be a way that you can purchase the eggs. And once you have an egg, you can choose two of your Dunjuka monsters to be the parents of your new Dunjuka baby. And he is going to personalize you, your own Dunjuka creature, out of the two creatures that you select for him. So, of course, I'm going to do a Dungjoka Harley little monster baby, and I can't wait to see what he comes up with out of that. So, I'll go back here, show you the adoption ceremony. Mine should be right up here, one of mine. Alright, yep, here we go. This is just a video he makes, I said, just takes the time to do it for everybody. I think it's awesome. Usually don't take too long after you make a purchase. Before you'll see it on Discord and Twitter. And you just see your little guy come hop into his little wicker basket where they float off into the clouds of one buck D and into your loving wallet. And whoa. I'll show you lastly oh I do want to show you here in general. This guy's so active in his community. And like every other every other little circle there is D50. He's always there, always talking to his people. Oh, he's doing stuff for his people. He's just awesome. Uh, a lot of people will make these discords and kind of just step out and you barely ever even see him in it. It's almost like a celebrity appearance if you get the person that made the discord to show up in their own discord, which is just kind of odd to me, but 
That's not how D50 rolls. He is here. He is active in his community. And the last thing I'm going to show you is the monster snap. This is another one he does this, with the kindness of his heart for his collectors. Talk about utilities. This dude just gives them to you one after another. Stuff you don't have to do that he does. And you can see somebody's picture there. I'm going to scroll up just a little bit to show you mine. I think this is so cool. He put my little Tanjuka is dragon fruit with my daughter there at the end of our beach trip looking out over the ocean as we say goodbye to the beach on our vacation so great guy great community cool discord awesome little monsters i really hope that you'll go and check d50 out there will be links in the description to uh his discord and his collections of course and again i hope that you'll give the guy a look it's definitely worth it about wraps it up for this episode of Fink's NFT Show. I hope you enjoyed my little overview and review of D50 and his Dunjuka. There will be a link for his OpenSea and his Discord in the description. And before I go, we'll leave you with my new drop, the Soulless Raccoon. First, he'll eat your trash, then he'll eat your face. Have a great one, and I hope that you'll join me next time on Fink's NFT Show. Please like, share, and subscribe.